Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Auto Dealership Tycoon. Now, it's important to stress that the game is still under development. What you're looking at here is a pre-release build. It will not be out until October 23rd, 2015. That makes everything that you're about to see subject to change. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, there are some settings. There's sound, music, walkthrough, and full screen. I have the music turned off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Okay, so I think what we'll do is click on the help button down here just to see if there is a tutorial or... Okay, well, good. CSR, customer service rating. Money and CSR make the automotive world go round. Everything you do can impact on your CSR. If you sell out of cars, adjust your prices too high, increase the service labor, etc., it can make your CSR go down. Great deals and good values throughout the dealership can make your CSR go up. The higher, the better. Too low and customers will stop coming. Daily operations. Other than stocking parts and cars, adjusting your prices depending on what's hot, and the day should be considered in your daily routine. Adjust your labor cost via the service manager room. Find the sweet price for each car. All right, so there's a sales manager door. This will bring you to the new and used car screen. The finance manager will bring you to your dealer's finances and purchase other dealer's screen. Service manager door will bring you to the purchase and sell parts screen. Any employee desk will bring you to the employee screen. New buildings will bring you to the purchase new building screen. And then finally, upgrades will bring you to the purchase upgrade screen. Adjust your new used car bias as well as change the price of your cars via the sales manager room. Lower the price on a car to drive traffic to your showroom for that car. Too low and you can lose money. Raise the price on a car to make a profit on that car. Too high and customers won't buy. Sales managers determine the price, the sale price of the car. The higher the scale, the more money you will make on each car's sale. Sales employees determine if a car is sold. The higher the scale, the better chance of a sale. Also determines if any upgrades have been added after the sale. Finance manager determines if a warranty has been sold on the car. Warranties are fantastic because they are 100% profit. Service manager will add extra cash on to each service job. No, mo money, mo skill. Uh, service employees are needed to work on cars. Higher skill equals faster worker equals more service jobs per day. Your first task is to adjust the prices of your cars. Go to the sales manager room to complete the task. Tips. Adjust your used car prices immediately after an auction. Hire good employees. Full game manual available for download via www.diggity. Net. Okay, so um, right off the bat, like it's throwing all of this information at me. I, I don't think I'm going to remember all of this, to be honest with you, but we'll see what happens. So I have to go to the sales manager's room. Select your starting brand and difficulty. Okay, so there's a Yotoya and a Dub. Um, I guess I want... I. What, what's the difficulty? Is it less customers, more, is that what I want? Less customers, more profit? Or do I want more customers, less profit? I guess the first one. I wish it would say easy and hard or easy and normal, whatever. Uh, okay, so here, here it is. Okay, so I guess starting brand doesn't have any bearing on difficulty. I guess maybe it's your preference. Okay, so easy. Select this option for more casual approach. Easier sales will translate to more money and faster growth. Definitely that. Enter dealer name, DGA Inc. Hello and welcome to Auto Dealership Tycoon. This walkthrough will help you get started. First, let's adjust the prices of your cars. Click the Sales Manager office to go to the inventory screen. All right, out oh, here. I'm thankful of the arrows. Uh, from this screen, you can add inventory, adjust your car prices, adjust the used car bias, which tells your sales employees to push more used cars and view and change your used car prices. If there are any current hot cars, you can see them here as well. Use the bottom arrows to scroll between car brands or use the car inventory. Okay. All right, click to add inventory on new cars. All right, so there's five stocked, four stocked, three stocked, one stocked. So what do I click? Do I, what do I do now? Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Um, I'm clicking on new, clicking on use, that's not working. All right, so it says right click on a car to change its price. So maybe I need to do that. So looks like there's a few different brands here. I guess we'll start with this right click. 
right click on a car to change its price. Well, I'm doing that and it's not, nothing's working. Is it because I don't own these cars yet? Just X out of here. Let's go to the service screen. You can get there by clicking on the service manager's office. All right. From here, you can buy parts for whatever car brand you own, as well as adjust your labor cost. Increased labor will get you more money, but can reduce your CSR. Reduced labor can increase your CSR, but will decrease your money. Okay. Do I X out of here now? I guess normal labor costs. So I can adjust that here. Interesting. X. Now let's view your finances. From the finance screen, you can view your daily and all-time stats, view the top five dealers, and view any other dealerships you may have purchased. Click on the Stats by Dealership button to view available dealerships to purchase. Stats by Dealership. This here? Okay. It's kind of glitchy there, but okay. Again, this is a pre-release version, so I don't know if... Maybe I'm not supposed to see this yet? I don't know. Let's view the possible upgrades for your building. Click on the upgrade sign. From here, you can purchase new brand license, any upgrades for your build, okay? Right click, long press to drop a license. You can also drop any upgrade that costs money per day. Use the arrows to scroll through the available upgrades. So right click or long press to drop a license. So used cars license. Do I need that? Purchase used cars license. Um, what about this? Purchase Yo 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 Toya license. I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to say Toyota. Uh, market share 38% for six. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing here. I'll just X out. Click on the new building picture located between the sales and finance manager's offices. Okay, all available buildings are shown here. Description is on the right. Use the arrows to scroll through. Cost per day, the amount of cash needed per day to operate. This is just the building and does not include the cost of employees and certain upgrades. Okay, so these are all the buildings, I see. These look like extensions, just just more square foot, so I can build more stuff, I guess. All right. Last but not least, click on any sales desk to enter the employee screen. All employees are listed here. New hires will pop up on the right-hand side when available. To find employee button will the find employee button will guarantee new hires the next chance. Click an employee to fire them. No, I don't want to fire Brian. Okay, so these are my current people, I suppose. All right. The newspaper will display current news. The auction button will display under the newspaper every Monday. Speed up the game by using the small play button located on the top right side of the screen next to the exit button. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Hold the mouse button down to drag or arrow keys to scroll. Okay, click the blinking play button on the top left to play the current day. <sighs> okay, this is like sensory overload. Like I've got so much to remember here, okay. I'm definitely not going to be doing well on my first day. So what if I click this? All right. New hood. Okay, so I guess I'm not sure what's going on. I'm hoping that I guess people are showing up and their car is being repaired and I guess I'm earning money for it. Somehow I just earned $10,000, $20,000. How am I earning all this money? If the total was 557, okay. Used car auction today. Attend your first used car auction. Auctions occur every Monday. All right, so how do I do that? This button. Uh, okay, Eris, starting bid 3312, current bid. Okay, so do I wanna, what, do I hit this button? Oh, I'm not sure what I did. Big City Motors at 1040, okay, so do I hit play? Oh no, it's next over. So what's going on here? Do am I So am I skipping all these cars? Is that what this means? Okay, so I guess that's that's okay. So I guess I just scrolled through 28 cars, zero out of whatever. So I could have bought those, I suppose, and I could have be selling them. No, don't want that. Alright. Um again let's let's go through these 
various things here. Damn it, I don't want to click on that. All right, sales manager. All right, so didn't I buy a car? So wait, are these the cars then? Okay, zero stock, zero stock. Now this says three stocked. Okay, so I wonder if my money was going up because I was selling these cars. But it says here, right click on a car to change its price, but I can't seem to do that. I'm, I'm right clicking right now and it's not working. So I don't know why that is. And I can't seem to cycle over to used. And I wonder if it's because I don't have my used car license yet. Um, so then do I go to upgrades, used car, yes? Owned. So does this mean now that, do I need licenses now to be able to sell these cars? Like if I, let's take a look at my sales manager. This is Yotoya. So then I have 11 cars on the lot. Does that mean I need a license now in order to sell those? I'd have no experience with being a car salesman, so I don't know how this works. So if I go to upgrades, for example, you know, Toya, uh, market share 38%, 60,000. Uh, I don't have the money for that. So I can't do that. So I'm wondering, you know, how do I... This is, this is a little confusing. I mean, maybe the tutorial did explain some of this. I just didn't didn't totally understand it. I'm not exactly sure what it is I'm supposed to do at this point. I guess I'll hit play. I guess the start of a new day. All right, so I am earning some money from these service. Uh-oh, something's happening here. No used cars, check back tomorrow. No used cars, check back tomorrow. So I guess I should have bought cars and, and I just don't have any, but I thought it said I had some in stock. All right, I'm trying to click on the sales manager. Nothing is happening. Is it because I'm in the middle of a day? If you haven't done so yet, adjust your car prices via the sales manager. I'd like to, okay. So I guess I can only enter these rooms in between days and then I'll be able to do stuff here. But again, I, I'm trying to adjust the price as the game wants me to and it's not letting me do it. All right, so these are my new, new cars. All right, again, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, it's, it's like I can't, I can't seem to do anything here. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Cars on lot, 11 out of 25. So what do I, what do I do at this point? I have three stocked, four stocked, three stocked, one stocked. Can't seem to change its price. This is a little frustrating. Okay, finance manager, okay. Um, daily stats, card sold zero. So basically I'm just earning money from service jobs at this point, but I'm losing money because I'm not doing enough of that. Okay, and then service, used car parts, price per part 25. So I have 57 parts in storage. So I just clicked on that and I, I, now I have more parts stored. Okay. So I can, I can select this for some reason, but I can't seem to select these other cars down here. Not sure why that is. All right. Um, and again, part of me is thinking that maybe I, I don't have Say it says dealer license, used cars owned. So now I should be able to sell used cars, right? Dealer license. So maybe I can't sell those new cars that I have in stock until I buy this license. Maybe that's it. All right, I can buy other upgrades. Featured car, interior. So this is pretty cool. I can, I can upgrade my structure, sales, concierge, uh, ad advertising clown, soda vending machine. TV, okay. All right, so let's hit play. I have a feeling though I'm not gonna do very well because um, I didn't buy any used cars. A customer's engine has seized. Is it unclear if the customer had the proper routine maintenance done? Do you want to pay for the engine anyway? Uh, uh, no. 
The result of your decision has produced the following outcome, minus 2 CSR money 3,000. Okay. Let's go ahead and fast forward time, if, if that's really what this is doing. It, I hit fast forward time, but no one's speeding up. Top NPC dealer net worth zero dollars. You should begin looking for new employees. You know what? Let's let's um let's go back to the main menu, and try playing a regular game. Uh, new. Yes. All right. Oh, so it's going to take me through this anyway. So what's the difference then between choosing the help button and the in the play button? That doesn't make any sense. Why is there a help button then? All right. Um, I guess we'll do this. And easy. We'll do DGA Inc. This time we'll try and buy some used cars and see. Okay, so it's going to take me through all this again. I'm going to hit exit. All right, now um, let's take a look. Okay, so now I have these available. What's up with that? How come I didn't have this before? Right click, price change. Okay, so I wonder if this preview build that I'm playing, maybe that help button is not supposed to be there. Maybe that's sort of like an alpha build or something because now I can I can adjust the price here that's that's okay so that 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 makes more sense now do I have a license for this Yotoya or does the license or do I not need a license to sell the cars I, I thought I would need a license to sell cars <laughs> oh I do have it okay so I do have it so okay so in the help menu when I went there and I chose the Yotoya the starting brand I should have owned that but I guess the game if you start the game under that help section, for whatever reason, it glitches out and it doesn't start you with this Yotoya license. So maybe that's why I was failing miserably. All right, so let's go ahead and give this another try. Um, I should now have the ability to sell those new cars because I now have the Yotoya license. Um, and I can right click on this dealer cost, 8,500, sale price, 9,150. Um, so I'm gonna bump that up a bit. I don't know what's appropriate and what's not. I guess it's just, I have to find the sweet spot. When in doubt, raise the price, and if they complain, then we'll lower it. There we go. Three, three, two, two. All right. Yeah, and I can't sell those because I don't have the license for that yet. Used. Oh, I do have some used cars. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up by a hundred bucks because I can, and I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up by hundred because I can. Okay. That's all I have for new cars. Okay. So used cars, 2 out of 28. New cars, 12 out of 24. Oh, it just says cars on lot. I'm assuming that's new cars. Okay. All right. So we'll hit play. And okay. Now we've got some service, service issues here. People are coming in. So basically I make money on a regular basis from service calls. And then I make my big money via sales. Okay. No sale. What's wrong with it? Does it say why there's no sale? Maybe my price is too high? Maybe I need to lower my prices again. Used car auction today. Attend your first used car auction. All right, well, let's try this again. Okay, starting bid, uh, 13, nine, three. Wow, that's a lot of money. And that's, I only have 20,000. I'm gonna skip this. Is there a cheap, okay, I want this cheaper car. I'm gonna go ahead and bid on that. Uh, so he's trying to buy it at 7260. I'll go ahead and up him. 7360. Come on. Uh, you can have it. I'll I'll let it go. 7708. I'll bid on that. Twice. Sold. All right. I made I made a first auction buy thing. My jig. Okay. I'm gonna try and buy that too. I like blue cars. Cheap Olaf. <laughs> Just, okay, I'm going to go ahead and up them. 66, 17. Oh, God damn it. He helped me again. All right, one more. Going once. Twice. Sold. All right, I have 5,500 now, so I need to buy. Okay, maybe I can get this one. 47, 33. Oh, he upped me at the last second. Sniped me. All right, 49.33. Let's see if it'll... Basement motors. Forget it. You can have it. You can have that. Oh, I like that, but you can have it. 23,000. Don't have the money. 16,000. 76. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. 
Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't. Okay, I'm done. So did I? I bought how many cars? One. Okay. Um. So sales manager then, and then used. Okay. So here are my two cars that I purchased. Um. So I need to adjust the sales price. So maybe I'll bump that up to. I don't know what the normal profit margin is, honestly. Like I don't know how to um like i don't know how to or what percentage i should bump that up by should i bump it up by 10 percent, 15 percent we'll try a thousand like this is about a thousand this one's roughly a thousand roughly um all right so like maybe we'll do that and see what happens new Dealer cost on these were, okay, so 85, okay, so that's $700 profit. All right, we'll try it out and see what happens. No sale. No sale. Maybe I really need to adjust my prices. Maybe downward. No sale. No sale. Oh, I got the cheap Ola. Warranty is $500. Wonderful. So I did sell one of my used cars. New employees available for hire. Your dealer is ranked 11 on the top 10. If you haven't done so, adjust your car prices. Okay. All right. So my cheap Ola, I have two in stock. Oh, was it a used or new that I, well, here, I have a used cheap Ola and a new. So I wonder if he bought the new or used. Which one did he, I guess it was the new one he bought or she bought because I still have my used one over here. Well, okay, so how much is that going for? Thirteen five hundred, two stocked, and the price difference there is about okay, so maybe you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna bump this down slightly. Like I'd like to I, I, I don't wanna price myself out of business either, but maybe we'll do something like that and then All right, let's try that. Let's see if people like that new price range. All right, let's go ahead and that, and then we'll play. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this now, sort of. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to you know how to how to work the prices properly and, and um, you know how to play the game the most efficient way possible. But I mean, I'm digging it so far. I, I like I like the idea behind it. Just not good at it yet. Um, and I think the tutorial, um, I mean, there's. it just seems like there's a lot of information that is thrown at you right from the beginning. So more than likely, you're going to have to play a few games, fail, and then play a few more games, get better at it, play a few more games, get better, until finally you everything clicks. I think that's what this game is going to be turning out to be for me anyway. You should begin looking for new employees. Well, okay, so what do you mean, why do I need new employees? Um, I don't want to buy a dealership. Oh, okay, so again, okay, so I can buy other dealerships. I can't do that. don't have the money, not at all. But this this screen was glitched in, in the uh, help, quote-unquote, help area. Okay, um, well, what screen was it for new service manager? No. Um, oh, this one maybe. Sales employee. All right, well, it's telling me to buy, find new employees, but I don't know which ones to hire. Do I need to hire a sales manager? Sales employee, do I need to hire a fine? I mean, everything seems okay here. Um, what's an eight, Dave, eight, 26? What's this? All employees are listed here, new hires, okay. Okay, that's fine. See, I'm, I'm asking for help, but it doesn't tell me what this 10 is. What's this 8? What's this 7? What's the, Is that their rating, their skill? Is that what that is? Out of 10? 10 out of 10? This guy's an 8, and this guy's an 8, but this one's, I'm only paying this guy 20, and this guy's going to be 26. So why would I hire this guy? And why, why do I need to hire more? If I'm not making any sales now, then I don't think another sales employee is going to help me at all. And maybe, and if I do hire someone else, will I need then to buy a new desk? 
if I go to upgrades, like, do I have to find an employee? To, okay, receptionist, no. Plus one showroom customer. Oh, okay. Waiting area. Plus one service customer, I see. Okay, hydraulic system. All right, I'll have to look at that later. All right, I'm going to hold off on hiring more employees for the moment. Let's go ahead and fast forward here. I don't think this is working. Is this working as intended? Like I'm clicking this fast forward button and, and the people aren't moving. Oh, nice. I made some sales. Great. A trade-in, Eris. Purchase price, 45 69 Estimated value is 50 um, uh, I'm trying to figure that out. Purchase price, did they purchase it for 45 or... I don't know how that works. They bought it for fifty-five sixty-nine. Estimated value. Okay, so I guess that means I can sell it for fifty-three seventy-six, and I would get the difference. So I guess I'll I'll do it. Go to upgrades and purchase the new employee advertising. I'm good. All right. So um, that's not what I wanted. Sales manager. Okay. So what did I sell anyway? used. I still have my used cars here. Oh, I have to adjust the price on this. It was what, 50 some, or yeah, 50. We'll go ahead and put this at 55 and see what happens with that. Okay, those are still not selling. Used cars, five. 12 cars on lot. All right. Upgrades. Um, 2,000 for 40 cars, but why bother doing that when I don't have enough cars to begin with? I'd rather purchase this upgrade when I actually have cars in my inventory. TV uh, cuts costs per day by $50. New employee, increased chance new hires. Again, I don't know if I want more employees though at this point. That's more expenses, wouldn't it? I mean, we'll, we'll try it. I mean, again, I'm just going to fail this more than likely anyway. Let's just go to sale. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and take its advice. Oh, I hit play, damn it. I, I was trying to hit the service manager up here, or I guess I should have hit the, the desk down here. Customer returns to your dealership without a bumper, claiming it was not installed properly and fell off on I-86. Do you believe the customer, and will you install a new bumper? No. The result of your decision has produced the following outcome. Money, $1,000. CSR, zero. No sale, no sale. Yotoya District Sales Event kicks off today. Sell three new Yotoya cars in three days and receive 4,000. Don't forget to stock your parts via the service manager room. Well, let's take a look at that. Well, I've got 18 parts in storage, so let's go ahead and click on this a few times. All right, I have 63 now. Um, oh. Oh, those are used car parts. Right, so I need to stock parts on each different kind of car. That's interesting. And you have to split it between your... Okay, so parts and storage, 98 out of 100. This says parts stocked 50. This is 48. So you have to share your storage space with multiple car brands. Okay. Um, so we wanted to go to sales manager. Now, maybe I want to sell more of these cars. So maybe I'll, I'll decrease the price on some of these. See if they sell. All right, nothing there. Okay, used car. Um, it's good for now, I guess. Well, no, let's, I'm not selling any of these. I'd like to reduce the price a little bit. See if that does it. Okay. Oh, I have one more car, don't I? Oh, no. I must have sold it. Used cars, 4 to 28. So I did sell one of the used cars. Okay. All right. Um, and I had to go to the desk then and hire more people. Oh, okay. None are available. Um, find new employees. We'll have some new hires in a few days. Okay. So I can't do anything there. Um, upgrades. What did it want me to do? Plus 10% successes in auctions. Okay. 
Uh, reception is plus one, showroom, pay. See, I don't want anything that pays per day. I'm trying to keep my costs low for right now. Waiting area, maybe plus one service customer? I'll go through my, you know, can I do that? Waiting, I can't seem to click on that. Why is that? Is it because, oh, maybe because I only have, maybe I don't have the second part of my building yet. Maybe I, maybe I need to upgrade my building first. And then once I expand my, my space, then I can see about putting these things in. Maybe that's it. For now, I guess I'm limited to the car lot, new employee advertising, TV, coffee, vending machine. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Wi-Fi, eh. Cost per day by $50. It's, it's if I'm playing over the long haul. Um, car lot. I guess we'll do that. New employee advertising increases chance for new hires per day zero. Okay. All right. So there's that. Um, are we up here? We're good there. And um, finances, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I'm making some money. Five eighty-seven there, daily stats. I'm not making a whole crap ton of money, but at least I'm I'm doing I'm doing better than what I was. But that wasn't really my fault. I think that help uh, section was glitched. But anyway, um, I think this is where I'm going to end the video because I think this has gone on long enough. Um, stay tuned, though, for more videos because I'm anxious to you know, get further ahead in the game. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. Like I said, I'll more than likely be recording more anyway, but just in case you guys want to see more, let me know. That way I can prioritize that video series. Um, if you haven't already, subscribed to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.